It's day three. Still no signs of diamonds. Can't find them anywhere. Let's hope some turn up soon. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Minecraft on the PlayStation 3, my attempt at a speed run, which is going not too bad so far. It could be going better, admittedly. I am looking for diamonds, and I can't seem to find them anywhere. Um, I've been looking high and low, I've been looking by lava, I've been looking by water, and I can't seem to track any down anywhere. And I found lapis, I found gold, I found a hell of a lot of lapis, considering that lapis Lapis is supposed to be a relatively low spawn rate. Um, I feel like I'm going to find emeralds before I <laughs> before I find any more diamonds. Currently, I only have one, and that is the the extent of it so far. So that's kind of where we're at with things. Ah, uh, hello, <laughs> hello to you. He just fell <laughs> into the lava. What an idiot. Okay. Oh man, so the thing is, I, I had a look in the comments section, a lot of people saying that it's just a case of maybe going deeper, but they said that because I'm around so much lava, I pretty much am at the bottom, uh, so there's not really much point, and diamonds do tend to spawn around lava just due to, you know, science and the pressure and how diamonds actually form and their immense heats and, and weights and whatnot, so everyone's saying that I'm, I'm in the right place, that I'm just having horrible luck, which... To be honest, isn't unsurprising for me. I don't have the best of luck most of the time. Where is that creeper gone? He was here. He's suspiciously vanished. And he was very, very quiet about it, wasn't he? He was here for a moment, and now he's just completely gone. Is that diamonds? Yes! There's the final two! Get in! Okay, we found them. Good, 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 good. Very, very good. I'm going to block this water source here so nothing gets blown away. Oh, this is good. This is very, very good. Alright, cool. Now, I do want to resurface. No, don't you dare! Don't you dare try that. That's it. You can go down there. You go into the lava. Get out of here. Oh no, he's going to take our diamonds as soon as we've got them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Burn. All right, cool. There's an auto save. This game knows me very well. It's like, oh, hey, you just found diamonds. Let me let me auto save for you. Let me make sure nothing bad happens to those diamonds. Thank you, game. Thank you, 4J Studios, for your nice little inclusions in the game. Right, so really, we want to try and find a way out. And it seems like now that I've found diamonds, every mob and its grandmother is trying to kill me. So <laughs> we need to find a way out of here. I want to dig directly up, but it's kind of the same rule when you're at this level as the rule of not digging straight down in Minecraft. Um, as you don't know what's going to be above you, so I'm going to be very careful about it. I've just heard my first spider, but I've yet to see it. And you know what? I think I know where I am now. I think I've got a pretty decent idea. I've got a bit of photographic memory going on. I believe that this part just here is the exit. So if I go across here and then go this way and then up there, this should be my way out, I think. If I go up that way, yeah, look, there's the staircase that we built. Fantastic. That's really, really cool. Find our way out very quickly from this scenario. Uh, we could do with some of that, and I could probably do with one more block for placing. Yeah, that'll do. A bit of cobblestone. So the reason I want to put the uh, the portal on the overworld. Oh no, I don't have any obsidian, do I? Oh, I'm an idiot. I got so excited that I completely forgot that I need obsidian for the portal, and I haven't even crafted the uh, I haven't crafted the thing yet. Oh, I've got a crafting table. There we go. So yeah, like I was saying, the reason I want to build the portal on the overworld is because I've always found that whenever I build a portal underneath the earth, that it always makes it very difficult when you spawn into the nether. You're always kind of like inside of like a mountain. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, diamond pickaxe. Yes, there we go. Good. All right, let's break this away. We're going to go and grab ourselves some obsidian and then we can get the hell out of here. Do we have inventory space for obsidian? Ow, what was that? Oh god, alright, there you go, come here, that's right, and we can also, before we go to the nether, pick ourselves up a little bit more food, because we are running relatively low, we've got three pork chops and we've got one piece of steak by the looks of it, uh, let me go down here, because this is where all our obsidian is, yeah, this looks cool, alright, I could probably do with, yeah, if I block off that water source just there, and pop a torch just above it, this might be a perfect... Oh, there's no obsidian below it. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, all right. So this is a 10-second rule, isn't it? So for the how many blocks do we need? It's 10 blocks, isn't it? 10 blocks is the magical total. I think that those were my lyrics in uh, in Screw the Nether. Ah, and luckily for us, there is actually normal stone below the surface of this obsidian, which actually makes mining it a lot easier. So I'm hoping this is going to be the case for the entire of this lava bed. I'm just trying to keep an ear out as well for... Oh, that was close. Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to place one just there. There we go. So at least a couple of these 
are going to be secure. If I stand close enough now, there's no way the lava is going to pour onto me. Uh, it will only be underneath me. But if I stand close enough, when the block actually breaks away, uh, I'll be able to catch it before it actually falls into the lava. Like then, I believe I got it. Yeah, three. Uh, let me bring that to here. I'm going to swap this out for the stone one. Good, I do hear a zombie somewhere. Ah, uh, they're over there. No one else is coming, right? No, we're good. All right, good. Let's, uh, cool. A couple more of those. Yeah, this is going good. All right, so I need ten. Seven more. Seven more. Each of them is going to take ten seconds, so we're going to be here for <laughs> literally a minute. A minute is going to be very weird. In the meantime, uh, why don't we talk about this whole Lady Gaga thing? So, if you didn't see this, um, the other day, I made a Oh, I say the other day. The other day, Lady Gaga tweeted out a song that I created nearly three years ago. If you haven't heard the song, um, go check it out. It's about Minecraft. I made it years and years and years ago in 2011 and it's called Form This Way. It's a parody of Lady Gaga's Born This Way and Lady Gaga really, really liked the song and then she just went on this massive following spree. I mean, she tweeted me and Sparkles back and forth and we were having like a little conversation and we were joking like, oh, hey, if your wife want to learn Minecraft, then we'll teach you. And she was like, I'm game. And she seemed really into it. And then she started following people like Seth Bling and Captain Sparkles and Cupquake and all these really cool people. It was a very weird experience. We weren't quite sure exactly what was going on. Oh my god, why did I do that? Wrong button. <laughs> oh my god, I nearly just threw my diamond pickaxe into the lava. That would have been the most upsetting thing that could probably happen to us, I think. Uh, let's jump down from here. Let me get a torch and light this part up. All right, here we go. But yeah, that was pretty much the extent of it. She tweeted it out. She also tweeted out another one as well uh, of Lady Gaga's applause. And it was a parody of that song. So I think she literally went onto YouTube was like, oh my God, Minecraft's pretty cool. Somebody showed it her. And then she looked it up, Lady Gaga Minecraft. And then everyone just went crazy. And <laughs> mine and Sparkles' Twitter feed has never been busier. It was insane how many people were tweeting uh, at Lady Gaga. Most of them weren't bothered about us. They were just like, Lady Gaga, please follow me rah, rah. but it was literally our feed was unusable for like two days i think or for like yeah about two days i'd say that's how long it was uh, unusable for because we just kept getting messages and like different news blog websites were doing pieces on it it was very very weird i don't <laughs> i don't really understand exactly what happened but that was a thing and it happened and it was all good right we need one more and then we can get the hell out of here we'll go to the overworld we'll kill any more mobs if we need to um to get some food and then we can head straight into the nether right cool uh, that's that and uh, now we need to go back up to the top so yeah i think the pl the order of events now should be get food build portal uh, go to the nether we need to find ourselves a nether fortress and then as far as i remember we need to uh, farm blaze powder don't we that's the the next big thing that we have to do so that's definitely where my mind is at right now. If there's anything else I need to do, please do remind me. But I'm pretty sure it's just a case of getting ender pearls, mixing them with blaze powder to make an ender eye, and then that will allow us to then go and find the, uh, the, the fortress um, in which the portal is. And obviously we'll have to get a lot of blaze powder and a lot of ender eyes because I don't know how far away the fortress is actually going to be. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. So let's do this thing. So let's find a couple of mobs to eat. Let me just jump across that gap. Oop, there we go. I noticed that whenever I start sprinting, it tends to lag. It's a little bit strange in that way. Uh, oh no, pick on dirt and a diamond pick at that. I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible, terrible person. There we go, good. Now, I'm the reason I want to get food is because I'm pretty sure the PS3 version is up to date in the fact that if I kill um, pigmen, they won't drop cooked pork chops. They're only going to drop things like golden nuggets and experience, which is why I do need to come down uh, with a lot of food before I go to the nether because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Is that a wolf? <gasps> Can I bring him to the nether with me? Hold on a minute. Oh, we're going to have a companion for our speed run. This will actually be very helpful having someone like something along with us. So let me do this. Where's he at? I mean, an ocelot would be better because then creepers are never stand a chance. Where did he go? Oh, there's two of them. Hello, buddy. Do you want to use uh, this? Oh, he loves us straight away. That's brilliant. Okay, let's get a... We need We need names for them. Let me know in the comment section below what we should name them. So we got that one and... Yay, we got two. All right, we got two doggies that are going to come with us to the nether. If I hit him once, they should just attack him, shouldn't they? Are they going to go for it? 
I think they've fallen down a hole, so they're struggling a little bit. <laughs> There's another spider just there. Good stuff. And I reckon, very quickly, we'll grab a little bit more iron before we head into the nether. Uh, either to replace our armor, to replace our swords, or to replace our picks. And just to make sure that we have all the resources that we need. Uh, Coal-wise, we could probably do with a bit more. The nether does tend to get quite dark. So, uh, it would be nice to have some torches for lighting up maybe the fortress, or maybe even just alone. Having some kind of way back uh, to actually work out which way we came from that's going to be the most difficult thing so i'm thinking either i should get a lot of wood so i can put them up as pillars from my portal to the nether fortress or should i be cheating and just like watch my video back to see which way i go i'm not too sure which way to go with it uh where is my wood cutting axe i've got a load of wood for now because there are going to be things that i'll need to craft whilst i'm going through there we go good oh actually i've got that steak just there oh can I not pick it up? Oh, I'm full inventory-wise. Uh, let's get rid of... What can we throw? We don't really need the map, do we? I feel like we've, we never use the map. Sand we definitely don't need, so let me throw that away. And I'm not going to need leather anytime soon, so I'll be okay without that. So we've got our two doggies. I'm well excited we've got doggies. It's adorable. I just don't know what to call them. I'm, I'm excited to see what people suggest. I might even do it as like a, a Facebook post. Because I know on Facebook posts you can actually uh, allow people to add options to a poll. So that might be quite cool to have. Uh, let me use the stone pickaxe. I believe I've got one of those. It saves me wasting my iron one just for now. I can use the iron one in uh, moments of emergency. If I need to break for a load of nether rack. Even though it does break relatively quickly. It would be nice to have a safety net for getting away from mobs. Uh, let's eat some of this food. Cool. Right. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. It's a relatively short episode. But the next episode will be nothing but nether. And that's what I'm going to call it. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching everybody. And I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye.